need each other. Don't we? Are you okay? Hurry, please. Wherever you go. Hello? I'll be standing right behind you. I know you better than anyone else in the world. He has figured out a way to be invisible. You too. Please listen to me. I know you feel like you're going insane sometimes. I'm the only one who can help you. I see you! Ooh, that looks spooky. Looks like I'm getting poked by the knife there as well. <laughs> Welcome back. Who's heading to the movies? Yes, The Invisible Man, the latest reboot back on the big screen. This goes all the way back to 1897 with the H.G. Wells novel. Uh, first made it on the big screen in 1933. There's been versions of this story. Remember The Hollow Man with uh, Kevin Bacon, Memoirs of an Invisible Man. They tried to go the comedy route with Chevy Chase. This one, definitely not funny. Elizabeth Moss from The Handmaid's Tale fame stars in this one. She's escaping her abusive ex who just happens to be the Invisible Man. This contemporary reboot definitely geared towards today's audiences. A lot of themes like domestic violence, gaslighting, those kind of things, topical issues examined in this movie. The problem, they're not always examined all that well. So kind of an undercooked story and some of the themes, yeah, they weren't as fully developed as I would have liked. And there wasn't a lot of backstory in terms of how this guy became the Invisible Man. It didn't examine their past relationship all that well. It just kind of throws you right into the middle. I found that a little bit frustrating. However, it's an incredible performance for Moss, who proves that she can do amazing things on the big and small screen. And this is directed by Lee Wanell. He's an Australian fellow, best known for writing Saw and a couple of those Insidious movies. His uh, partner is James Wan. I loved what he did with the camera work in this movie. It's very fluid. He's got some beautiful pan shots. And there's nothing in the frame at times because he's invisible. So you're like, is he there? I don't know. Like, that shot really illustrates it well. The music, very chilling and effective. Like the lighting, it was never frantic. So I really enjoyed the aesthetic and the visuals of this movie. It does run into some pacing problems around the three-quarter mark where, I hate to say it, but it kind kind of drags a little bit, but this should scare up plenty of box office bucks. They went for more horror thriller versus science fiction. They do set it up for more adventures with Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moss, and uh, she's formidable in this role, so I would love to see her tackle it once again. Uh, as I mentioned, some of the ideas weren't as developed as I would have liked, but it's still at times a riveting thriller. I'm going to recommend it and go three out of five for The Invisible Man. Watch out. Where is he? I don't know. Okay, if the theaters aren't your thing this weekend, some stuff coming to Netflix. Let's check out the latest. Elle Fanning and Justice Smith star in this young adult drama. She's dealing with the loss of her sister, and she meets a, an eccentric and unpredictable boy. This is All the Bright Places, based on the internationally best-selling novel by Jennifer Niven. That's out today. Also, heads up, race car fans, Formula One Drive to Success Season 2 is out on Netflix right now. Take an inside look at Formula One World Championships and the people and cars involved. A lot of high octane adventure in that one. And something for the foodies. This is really cool. Restaurants on the Edge. You know those shows where hosts fix up buildings and help increase their value? Same kind of premise. This time, they're tackling restaurants all over the globe. There you have it, people. Lots to choose from this weekend.